Hello and welcome to a brand new Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial, this time taking a look at how to back up your Final Cut Pro libraries and also how to access them libraries as well as closing libraries so that you can focus on a single project at once. By default, Final Cut Pro is going to create backups of all your libraries. This is really cool, it works a bit like Time Machine, it's basically going to take snapshots of your libraries, so all your projects, how your edits are and everything in between and save them wherever you choose. What it doesn't do is copy the media files. This makes the files really small file size. This means you can be working off an external drive with all your media, all your projects and everything like that. But you could also have another external drive which has all the backups of all your edits. So let's say your media drive crashes but you've got say a spare media drive. You can plug in your spare media drive, load a backup of your edit files and you're ready to go again. It's really quite simple. So if we go ahead and click on Final Cut Pro in the menu bar and choose Preferences. Then under General you can see Library Backups Location. And if we click on that you can see we've got a Choose option. By default it's going to store it under your movies. You can see there's a folder called Final Cut Pro Backups. We can save this anywhere we want. What I want to do is I want to save this on my Time Machine drive. I want all my Final Cut Pro backups to just be on my time machine. I don't need them to be on my hard drive as well because the actual main versions are going to be on my hard drive. So I can just go ahead and choose time machine and then press choose. And then it's going to save all the backups of all my libraries to here without the source footage ready to rock and roll. Okay, now let's have a look at closing and opening library files. So let's say we're done with this audition project and we want to focus on a new project currently untitled. It's not very exciting yet, but it could be. We want to close out of audition tutorials, so it's actually very simple. Just right click and choose close library audition for tutorials and it disappears. This works similar to um, Event Manager X in terms of toggling, hiding different events and projects, except because we've now got the architecture of the master library folder, we can just close it out just like any normal file for any other application. And if we want to bring that library back, we choose File, Open Library. We can navigate if we choose Other, or we can choose Audition for Tutorials. Also, we can load from a backup. Once a backup has been created of your project file, you can very easily load in that project file. What it's not going to have is your render files and media like we discussed but you can load the actual library file which will have links to the existing media. So let's just choose Audition for Tutorials and like that the project is ready to go. This is obviously going to make it really efficient to load up and close down Final Cut. Whereas previously you used to have to move events and projects into hidden folders so that Final Cut couldn't see it if you wanted to just focus on one project, now you can just close out of a library and you're ready to work on whichever single project or multiple projects you want. So thank you very much for watching, hopefully this was useful, and I'll see you guys again in a brand new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial.